Hello friends, Lord Vermernard here again with a special, um, I guess it's special, Christmas Eve episode uh, of Mamba Zoo. Uh, I've mentioned several times I'm going to play this game, so I think it's time. Why not today, right? So I have quite a few hours into this file, so this is going to hurt a little bit, but I'm going to start a new file. Well, I guess it doesn't actually delete your old one, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a new game. Save name Maple Syrup. That sounds good to me. Um, some people said that they wanted me to do hard mode. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's pretty easy to die in this game, um, and permadeath would be kind of, uh, kind of rough. And also, you can die from anxiety, um, which is bad too, because the way that the crashes happen in this game is sometimes when you wreck... It'll like spike your anxiety all the way to the end and which means you basically die every time you crash And as you know from watching my long drive series, I crash a lot. So I'm just gonna do a new game, but you know um, It's been so long since I actually started a new game um, That I kind of forget like this wasn't even a thing. I don't think You're a car guy. That's your luxurious home here. You left your mother's house. You live near your brother Francis Scissor Bazoo, Beater, Jalopy, and Hoopty. <laughs> 90s rear wheel drive car. Yeah, that's the dream, isn't it? Got a shed with to do instructions. Yep, yep, yep. A fueling station. Sugar Shack. Alright, here we go. So, yeah, um, if you've never heard of this game, it's basically a street racing slash survival slash tycoon game, I guess. Um, you uh, you have a crappy car. This is um, like something like 2005, if I remember correctly. The year you can change your shirts. Let's do yellow today. Um, you can uh, yeah. It's I guess it's like 2005 in a small Canadian town. Um, and you're basically you just have to um, you got this piece of junk car uh, and you just have to survive basically. Um, so this, they call this car the Koenig, but it's clearly a BMW, like, 318, I guess, since it's got a four-cylinder. Um, it's missing parts. Um, you got this here, uh, this old square body, um, which, you know, I'd love to have one of those in real, real life, I guess. But um, So you got some tools. You got some basic tools. There's some parts in here. Uh, so we've got some lists of things to do here. So build the sugar shack. Buy a roll of tubing, connect maple trees, etc., etc. To do, start. So this is like the beginning of the game. This is what you're supposed to do. Um, tighten the bolt. Uh, install the wheel. Install the intake. Tighten all lug bolts. Buy a tire pump. Talk to your brother. Sell firewood. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Um, so this is kind of similar to My Summer Car, if anybody's ever played that. Although this game is... A lot more forgiving than my summer car was. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, it's very similar, but there's only, I think, if I remember correctly, there's only two bolt sizes. Unlike my summer car, where you have to know all the bolts and it doesn't tell you what the sizes are. Um, yeah. Great fun. Um, this this doesn't go into the into as much nitty-gritty detail with building the engine and stuff there's really not much you can do other than you just bolt on some parts and it's done um which i you know as kind of a, as a car guy i i really like the the nerdy geeky out part of my summer car like having to put the entire car together and set the cam timing and all that stuff but um i can understand why some people don't want to do that so so yeah this is good um, i'm not saying this is a bad thing about the game um, it's still like really satisfying to like put the car together and do modifications and all that fun stuff so yeah um, if I remember correctly I think the most important things to do at the beginning of this game <clears throat> is uh, to make friendships with people and um to make money to stack them dollar bills so uh so that's what we're gonna do i you know i obviously have the advantage of i've played this before 
Um, so some of the stuff I kind of remember, but there's, I'm sure there's things that I don't remember either. So you can take the school bus into town if um, if you are out of gas, uh, which is one thing you can do. There's also one of your friends can give you a ride into town. <clears throat> you can take this little quad, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, what do you want me to do? Put a wheel on? All right, we can do that. Yeah, so... I mean, I started playing this. This game came out two years ago in December. Whoops, two years ago in December. Um, and I have... I don't remember exactly when I started playing this game, but it's been almost two years. I think I started playing it, like, maybe in, in January or something after it came out. Um... So I've got some I've got some time into this game and it's a lot of fun too. It's it's a great way to just kind of kind of you know mess around with cars and earn money and you know it's a it's a pretty low stress game most of the time. So it's pretty cool. I uh, I appreciate the heck out of the developer that made this. He uh, did a great job. And his name is Santa Goat, so I guess that's appropriate since it's uh, Christmas Eve. So yeah, hopefully. Um, Hopefully everybody's doing well out there, having a good Christmas Eve, doing uh, all the Christmas Eve things. Um, it's been pretty low-key for us this year, um, which is good. I don't I don't mind that at all. I, I uh, you know, I'm not big on crazy, frantic, high-stress Christmases. So we need a tire pump because these tires are flat. So we can Let's yank this out here, and yank that out. So there's gas here, which doesn't have anything in it, and I don't know if the gas tank actually has gas in it either. Looks like it might be something in there, I don't know. Let's see, will it run? I don't remember if it runs or not. Hey, here we go. Look at that. Sweet. All right, yeah, it doesn't have any gas in it, and it's also it starts off with an automatic transmission, and it sucks. So this car is actually really terrible in this game, um, but it's awesome. So yeah, we have to. Um, yes, we have to. We have to plant. Uh, you can grow potatoes. There's a buggy too. Um, it's kind of insane and almost impossible to drive. Uh, but it's great fun. You can find parts for it scattered around the map. Okay, so we've got a bunch of maple trees already. Um, yes. All right, let's um, look at the sugar shack situation over here real quick. So yeah, there's a log splitter. You gotta and you gotta put fuel and everything. You don't have electricity. You have to use a generator. So that's kind of a pain. Uh, and as you can tell, I don't have a ton of money either. So, yeah. Um, at the beginning of the game, it's tough to, like, keep all your stuff fueled up. Oh, speaking of things to plant, there's a very important thing we need here. Um, whoops, wrong button. We are heading for those windmills because sometimes there's something that spawns in one of those that you need as one of your main money-making enterprises in this game. So we're going to see if we get lucky at the beginning here. Whoop. Oh god. Uh-oh. <laughs> here we go. See? I told you. Crashed already. See if I can get this thing back on the road. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's an old Chev, it's fine. Brakes? There we have brakes. Are, yeah, French Canadian slur, yes. So the brakes pretty much are non existent on this thing. Um, the tires suck. It doesn't have any power. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. 
Alright. Uh, shut her down. Parking brake. Let's hop out. Um, Alright, let us investigate the windmills. Also, um, this is as fast as your dude goes. This is running, so I'm constantly holding down shift. Um, he does not move very quickly. Yeah, it's a, it's a problem. Do, 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 do. do you know how insane you'd have to be to climb up one of these things? There is no way I would do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not for me. Me and heights don't get along too good. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is a cash crop seed that spawns in one of these windmills. And I can't remember which one. There's a new spanner, I guess. I don't really need one of those. Let's leave that up there for now. Um, all right, where's the other? Isn't there another one really close to me here? Yeah, it's over here. Whee! There's no fall damage, <laughs> as, you, as you can tell. <laughs> Which is also a good thing, because sometimes if, if you're... If you're goofing around a lot in the vehicles, they can they can get launched. <laughs> now, the first time I played th the first file that I started with this, well, the, the file that I had, I ended up losing the seed that I was looking for here, and it took forever for another one to respawn, so I'm going to try not to make that mistake again. So yeah, there's some uh, some guys at the gas station that I need to make friends with um, that unlocks some things later. Uh, like the thing it said at the beginning, your brother lives nearby and you have to talk to him a lot um, to get your garage built. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. All right. Where's my truck? I see it. Yeet. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, even in video games, that makes me very uneasy. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. So yes, this, uh, we can, we can run our, our, our own little, um, uh, I don't know what the rules are on YouTube. I, we can run our own little, uh, cash crop empire. Uh, yeah. So we'll see how that works here in a minute. Um, there we go. Let's see, controls, oh, yeah, a reverse, there we go. There we go. Alright, let's head to town. Um, I think it would be a good idea to put gas in the can. Turn, e brake, there we go. Wow, moon already? Alright. Getting stuff done. Alright, we gotta stop here. I said we have to stop here. So this place uh, sells cheese curds, which you can use to make poutine. But uh, what we want here is this potato, so we can grow potatoes, as one does. Um, forward. There we go. Let's see, there's the, a guy that lives... Alright, he's not there anymore. Alright, that's fine. Okay, almost didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, this thing, uh, the handling on this truck is pretty sketch. 
sounds great. All right, here we are, gas station. Alrighty then. What's up, guys? Um. Oh ben, oh ben, oh ben, content to wear. Ah, dis-moi donc, ouais. Salut! Qu'est-ce que tu mets pas d'ordinateur dans ça? Non, non, right. non, non. So, yeah, he uh, has to do with some things with the racetrack. Um, so, you can uh, open up a racetrack, too, nearby, which is pretty sweet. You can do lots of stuff, but it's a, it's a pretty big uh, it's a pretty big deal to get to that point. So, um, we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so we've got some parts that we need for the vehicle in here. We are so low on money right now. I think what we need to do is focus on getting all of our equipment up and running. And, uh, yeah, just surviving at this point. Right, you can't use regular fuel. Do, 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 do. All right, that's full, and of course the um... no, there. Of course the uh, the fuel door on this thing is on the other side, so that's my bad. Wait, I have to buy an air pump, don't I? How much is an air pump? Forty-four dollars. Bob, it's a bad thing. Yeah. <sighs> All right, whatever. We need it. Thing has very bad tires. All right, is that good? Uh, let's let's do a little bit better job than that. It does have four-wheel drive, but I think it uses more gas when you put it in four-wheel drive. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it it seems like it does. Let me get over there. All right. And it goes through gas fast enough, so <laughs> that's something that... What? No, get... Uh, what is going on? Okay, yeah. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to... Hmm, yeah, there's no way I can afford any of it right now. I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to buy any of the maple syrup making supplies yet. I don't think that really makes any sense. Uh... Yeah, we are pretty much down to nothing with um, money-wise here. So I don't know if I can buy one of these. Nope, those are seven bucks. Can't do it. All right. All right. Let's um, let's head home. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry. I didn't think that would be a problem, but since every game and everything is mapped differently, it's uh, screwing me up. <laughs> All right, let's head home and see if we can do some uh, money-making activities here in quick. Oh God, too fast. Here, take a little shortcut here. Just wind this little truck out. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll stop by and talk to my brother real quick. Which, uh, where's his house at? We'll just pass it. Shit, just passed it. I think. Yeah, I just did. Alright. Uh, <laughs> yes, he lives down here. Where's his driveway? Right here?
like a glove. All right. Um, stop. Break. Turn off. All right. Yeah, he's got this sweet looking, uh, kind of looks like a Toyota maybe or an old Nissan. I don't know. Pretty sweet rig though. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, ben content yeah. to voir, petit frère. Glad to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, I don't have anything for me yet. But I can cut firewood and sell it to him here. So, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, buttons. Yeah, this looks like a lovely area, wherever it is. Somewhere in Quebec, I don't know. All right, we are home. Shut her down. Um, all right, so we got the air pump. Uh, we can fill that up if we cared. Um, oh yeah, so we need to we need to deal with our. Uh, with our uh, crops here. Um, this looks like as good a place as any. So we've got one potato and one uh, um, oregano plant. <laughs> so, no wait, there were two of them, wasn't there? Where'd my shovel go? Uh, right here. Take. There. Alright, get over there. Uh, we'll take... Seeds. You there, and you there. Okay. And our potato. There it is. Right there. Yes. All right. There's a watering can somewhere right here. All right. Fill it up. Goes there, that goes there. There we go. Easy peasy. Um so yeah, wood. Uh all right, we got our gas can. We're gonna need lots of gas for this stupid freaking generator. Um I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. Once we start uh, making maple syrup, um, yeah, this thing will be running all the time because you needed to run the you needed to run the equipment in the sugar shack, and that's kind of a kind of a pain in the butt. So uh, let's yeah, we need to cut some wood. So let's bring our old chainsaw here, and let's go find some trees to cut. Oh, you know what else I need to do? <clears throat> What's not here? Hmm. Sell firewood. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Jeez, I keep remembering all this stuff. I have to call mom. Uh, five 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 two one zero nine. Okay. Allô, mon beau garçon. Bientôt, là, je vais avoir terminé de faire le ménage de All ta right. chambre. Yep. C'est so, sûr que si je trouve important. quelque chose, um, là, je te fais signe. She finds a uh, fryer basket. Yes, I know that sounds weird, but you need it to make food for yourself. So, yeah, that's, a, that's an important thing. All right, so let's find some trees to cut. Um... All right, this part can be kind of a butt because the way that the physics work in this game, when the uh, when you have stuff in the truck and you have the emergency brake or the the parking brake on, it um, it kind of freaks out. I'll just do the best I can, I guess. 
Alright. Let's just put it here, I guess. Well, I'll use a parking brake and then we'll just watch what happens, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. That's cut. Whoops, in the road. That's okay. Just cut it. There. Oh my god, just cut the tree. So I think in order for it to count as firewood, for your brother, you have to split it also, which is a real pain in the butt. All right, and this is birch trees, which we don't really care about either. Oh my god, just cut the tree. Okay. that in there and we need the log splitter now I wonder how much fuel it's got in it all right it's not full look at this we've already used most of our okay yeah we've already used most of our gas can already good stuff good stuff All right, so this thing is a kind of a pain in the butt, too. Um, pretty sure we can... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, parking brake, parking brake. There's the parking brake there. All right, where's the... please. I'm hitting the button for reverse and it's not going in reverse. There we go. Is that good? It's probably fine, right? I think that'll fit through there. Let's see, where can I put this where it won't be in the freaking way, but it'll be close enough to my truck? Right, right here, I guess. Pretty sure I can just leave that connected. So we need to fire this baby up. Uh, let's see. Switch. All right, we're going. And we're splitting. <clears throat> oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I think I remember like being able to like throw the logs onto it. Maybe they fixed that. There we go, yeah. I don't know why he has to use a log splitter. Can't you just use a good axe to split him that way? I know it's hard work, but... It beats having to, like, pay out the nose for fuel all the time. Alright, get used to this riveting gameplay, friends, because uh, a lot of what this game is, is doing this. <laughs> Splitting logs. Ugh. 
Yeah, and even more fun is that when it comes time to load all this crap up into the truck, yeah, it's, uh... To say it's tedious is an understatement. <laughs> And we also need, um, I'm pretty sure you need to collect a bunch of wood to build the sugar shack too. Um, but I don't think you have to split it. You can just use the logs. Uh, but the problem is you'll eventually run out of trees on your property. So you have to plant more trees in order to do that. To fix that, you can, um, get the pruners and let you cut tri trimmings from the trees and uh, plant new ones. Um, but of course, it takes time for them to grow, etc., etc. So you get the idea. Uh, so tree management is is a thing at the beginning of the game for sure. And of course, you also want to maximize how many maple trees you have so that you can get the most maple syrup production when it comes time to do that. Because you make a lot of money with maple syrup. Rightfully so. It's not exactly an easy product to um, to harvest and process. I'm very lucky that I live in Ohio, where we have lots of maple farms, and we have lots of really good maple syrup. Uh, because that would suck if you live someplace where you don't have it. <laughs> All right, turn this thing off. So we don't waste fuel. And now we gotta load this stupid truck up. And this is always just a massive, massive ass pain. Like I said, I have the parking brake on as well, which makes the physics kind of go wonky. Um and not really in a hilarious way, like in a massive pain in the butt sort of way. So it's just kind of something you have to deal with. That or you deal with your truck rolling away. And sometimes you can park it in such a way that, um, like if I turn that off, yeah, it looks like it might stay. But sometimes it'll move around when you load wood into it as well. So I also have to make sure that I, I, I don't know if I can sell wood to Francis after dark? I, I don't remember how this works. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time. And of course we have to make it to Francis's house without dumping all the wood everywhere. Which is a thing that can happen. Alright, see? It's starting to roll. It's starting to roll. I don't want that. And now see, look at the, see how the wood is like kind of sliding around? Like how the chainsaw's coming out and everything? Yeah, this, this is great. Um, all right, I'm gonna need to put this in a different place like this. Let's try... It also seems to kind of roll up those sometimes. I'm not really sure how that's possible. Alright, what if you just stay here? Will you stay there? Alright. Do it quick. Uh, see, like half of the logs have already like kind of spilled out. Yeah, it's just a whole thing. Yes. I'm pretty sure there's a maximum of how many you can sell them at once, too, and I, I don't remember what that maximum is. So I'm just going to load up whatever I can. If I can't sell any more, then I'll just drop it at his house, and it'll automatically uh, sell it the next day. Like I said, I'm not even sure... If I can bring this to him after dark, I don't know.
flashlight. Yes, I f almost forgot about that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I get it. You're thirsty. Alright, this is going to be a problem. It's like... <laughs> uh, physics are hard. I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is... I'm sure this will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just walk back to the house. And hope that the truck doesn't just disappear. Maybe it'll hit that tree and just stop. <clears throat> oh, Lord. I got a bad feeling about this. All right, I'm just going to go back. Let's just let's just ignore that problem for now. Um, yes, we got plenty of maple syrup in here and uh and one poutine. Oh, a couple of poutines. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. Um, let's have a sleep. I don't want to fire up the um, generator because I don't want to use as much any fuel more fuel than I have to. All right, three in the morning. Not when I wanted to wake up. Let's go ahead and sleep a little longer, I guess. Okay. Let's wear an orange shirt today. All right. And it's raining, so that means I don't have to water water my crops. Hey, the truck stayed. Great. Um, let's see if I can go ahead and get the rest of this crap packed in here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a limit to how much I can bring him, but... I guess... The best way to find that limit is to bring as much as we can. Yeah, there's no way that all of this is going to make it there. That's it. Alright, let's, um... How do I even get in the damn thing? Okay. Alright. Uh... Okay, alright. Careful, careful. Oh, stop. Oh, the last one. That's alright, I'll get it later. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Alright, look at us go. We did it. Well, we haven't done anything yet. We've uh, severely overloaded a piece of crap truck from the 80s. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think that takes a lot of skill. Let's see if we can get it there without spilling it. So his, the thing to sell it is like, yeah, it's like back there. So let's see if we can, no, back it in, just like so. Here we go, here we go, here we go, this is fine. Look at that. 420 bucks. <laughs> nice. Alright. 
Is he here right now? Can we talk to him? No, he's not here yet. When does he show up? Eight or nine? If it's eight, we'll just wait a little longer. Let's open this and what we can do is just throw the wood here and then the next time, like it, when it resets, it'll just automatically sell it. You can do that with any of the nodes where you sell stuff. So like the once you sell maple syrup, you can do it that way. Once you start selling the cash crop, you can do, do it that way as well. Just kind of nice. So I didn't even count to see how many woods I had there, but it was mostly full. So I guess that's not bad. Okay, is he out there now? Yep. Hey, what's up, bro? What do you got for me? Hate cutting firewood. Yeah, me too, brother. Alright, so should we go into town since it's early? What do we actually need? Um, we need the clippers. That's one thing we definitely need. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Whoa, let's get those. Whoa, rabbit. Thankfully, not the kinds of rabbits that kill you in a long drive. Oh, God, turn. There we go. There we go. Wait, there's a guy I have to talk to right here. Ugh. Stop. What's up, bro? Yeah, he can find stuff for you. I don't know if there's any other benefits to having him as a friend or not, but... Um... Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have a little cheer-up thing on you for an old-timer. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, just, just wait. Yes, sir. Oh, clippers. Merci d'être venu. Bonne journée. That way. We need these. Yes. All right. These are very, very important. Um, I'm wondering if I should just buy some uh, maple syrup supplies now. Or yeah, I don't know. I want to buy all these car parts, but um, this doesn't make sense right now. I think it's more important. My survival is more important. I think. Um, yeah, let's stop at the maple syrup shop. I think he's down here, if I remember. I guess I'll buy a couple of supplies. Right here. Alright, I love that you can just drive like a complete asshole in this game and nobody cares. <laughs> Fédération de sirop d'érable okay. ici, Eric. Eric. Avez-vous des questions sur nos produits? Let's buy. Un très bon choix. A roll of tuning. And let's buy some tap. Even though I don't need them yet, I think it's good to get a supply of these built up. If you can. Whoop. In there. 
Yeah, I think that's good. Right. Wait. Um. So can I buy? Yeah, the barrels. There's a two hundred bucks a piece. Ouch. Yeah. I'm. I can't. Can't do that right now. Gotta wait. Okay. Oh. Anyways, we don't even have the damn sugar shack built yet, so I guess it's not something we have to worry about. All right, let's head back home and get some work done. Because another thing I did have to do, I know that, um, like, the whole reason I'm doing this is because they added a new car to the game, but I don't even have... Breaks, 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 breaks. I don't even have my friendship up to the point with the guy that gives you the car to do anything about it. Um, so that's going to take a while. It's the guys that, that show up at the night meet. So um, it definitely takes uh, some time to build up your friendship with that guy. Um, so that's something I'm just going to have to do. It'll be a while before I get that car, unfortunately. home as quick as we can. Yeah, this thing's only a four-speed. I don't know what what year they switched to a five-speed on the square bodies with that body style. Most of the ones around here are automatics, unfortunately. So here's the thing. Um, this is actually a really important thing to do in this game. Is figure out where you want all your maple trees. Oh, there's a log over here. Must have been the one I dropped. Because uh, you have to make sure they're together in such a way that makes them easy to connect with the tubing and all that. So otherwise you don't have to use a bunch of those um, fiddly uh, like junctions, the post the post junction things. So I think I want to connect this batch of trees over to this batch. So let's do that, and that, and that, and that. And here's the hard part: is these things are hard to see. So let's plant you like that. There. Let's plant you right here. Let's plant you. Yeah. All right. Did I cut three or four? All right. See, I forget already. Yeah, four. Here's the fourth one. Yeah, so you'll, we'll put you right there. Okay. And so now... Yes. Um, yeah, I'm trying to... I'm like running this through my head here. I think what I want to do is keep maple trees out of this area and just grow all my wood trees here. So we've got that, that. Oh look, it actually shows you like, like it gives you a little marker. So that's three, four, five. So we did that one already. Six, five. I mean, duh. Six, uh, seven. Eight, nine, right? Okay. So we'll plant, we can just plant these in the old place. Right there. So that's one, two, uh, 
free. Four. Five. Six. This one. Uh, I don't see it. Uh, okay, did I not get that one? All right, this is seven. Eight here. There it is. Eight. There's one more, I thought. Didn't I cut nine? I don't have space. We need another space. Just plant the goddamn tree. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll put it over here. There. Okay, so this is new that they added. If you pick up the pruners, you can see where the cuttings are. That's kind of a nice addition. No, I can't remember where I put the pruners. Um, 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 right here. That's awesome, actually. That's really, really cool. Did I leave it up here? No. Well, shit, I could have sworn I... Oh, there it is. It's right there. Alright. Alright. Nine. Um, right there. Perfect. Alright. Pruners, 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 pruners. Now we can um, prune these maple trees here because we don't really want maple trees in this section. So we'll prune you. Oh, we got a bunch of them over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll prune that one too, but I'm not going to count that. Um, seven, eight. Eight maples. Okay. All right. So this should be easy enough. Um, <clears throat> so we want to connect, like I said, we want to connect all these maple trees together in a way that makes sense. So that one can go there so that we can connect it to that group of trees over there. So that was one. And two. Okay. Oh, God, I wish this guy could go faster. Three. Let's put this one over here. So that's like, that's the right number so far. One, two, three, right? Okay. So then we've got, yeah, we'll put it, just plant that somewhere. Um, so this one, that was our number three, okay. So this one's four. Oh, sorry I gotta walk all the way across here, but if I don't do these in order, it's gonna screw my brain up. Alright, 
four. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I get it, buddy. You're thirsty. Here's the next one. Okay, this one. Six. Oh my god. Gotta go all the way across. I know I could load these up in the truck, but sometimes that's more <clears throat> trouble than it's worth. Okay. So is that seven? So we got one up there. Two, three, four. Five, six. Is that six or is that seven? There's one there. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six. I thought I cut nine of these, didn't I? I don't remember. There it is. See, they're so hard to see. So this would be seven. Um, mm. This one can go... I can't those a little bit close together. That's okay. Right there, I guess. That way it'll run up into this one. I think there's one more. Yeah, right there. Okay. Man, I wish you could hold two things at once. Alright, maybe I forgot one somewhere, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, you can cut clippings off of trees again after a period of time. So it's not really... It's not, uh, it's not really a huge issue. Let's get this guy something to drink before he dies. Mm. Yes, I hear you. Because everybody drinks maple syrup, right? Um, right. So now what do we do? Uh, we don't have to water this stuff. Look at that. Growing already. Hell yeah. Um, so I think what I should do now... Well, let's investigate the, the Sugar Shack build. I'll just walk over there. It's easier. So now, I can cut these trees down in this area. Even the maple trees. And... It'll be fine. I'll have to make sure not to forget my stupid nippers. And then I think what I'll need to do after that is clear out any trees that aren't maple trees up here. Pine logs. So it can only be pine logs. And I need 64 of them. Alright, great. So pine logs go there. Other logs go for firewood. Yeah, see, there's a lot of work to do in this game. The good news is I don't have to split them. So, at least there's that. So, let's detach this for now. Um, chainsaw still... Oh, I got, forgot about my, about my shit. Um...
let's um, unload this crap right here for now. And I guess let's start cutting some trees down. Um, this is going to be a pain in the butt hole. Actually, I think what I'll do now is just turn it off. There's a pine tree. There's a pine tree there. Crap. Pine tree there. This is definitely not 64 logs, but it'll get me started. Okay. How many do I get from each tree? Is it six? Is it always that many? I don't know. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, I guess it's six from each one. It's gonna be a shitload of trees. <laughs> There is a trailer you can buy um, at that one store that you pass when you make the turn to the gas station that works on the, um, the little quad, too. And it's a little bit easier to deal with than the truck sometimes when it comes to parking and putting stuff in it because it doesn't seem to roll away as easily. might be easier to transport stuff just you know from from the tree to the to the sugar shack here I don't know this is this is a pain in the butt though I'll tell you that okay so how many is that I have 24 now. Only 40 more to go. <laughs> um, see if I can find some more here. Uh, some over there. There's one right there, actually. Do this one real quick. Be nice if I could like get it to fall right into the truck. Mm, it's worth a shot. I wonder if I can do like what I do with Francis. I can just back up and it'll suck him out of the truck into the thing.
Take all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try that real quick. I don't know if that works or not. It does. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's find some more trees to whack down. Pine trees. Yeah, here we go again with a rolling thing. Here, let's just bump it against this tree. Going. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'll get this done like the day, but. I think we'll get a good chunk of them knocked out. Excellent. Right, you go in there. I don't know how many I can actually get, how many logs I can get in the truck. I think I remember, like, you can sell the logs. Um, there's a uh, lumber mill in town that you can sell the logs to as well. And I think one time I was, like, just really desperate for cash. And I couldn't sell them to Francis, so I brought a whole giant load of them to there one time. It was... I lost lots of them on the way. I had to keep stopping. There was also there's also another property you can buy in this game later on. That doesn't really serve much of a purpose, but it has a bunch of trees on the property. Whoa. Get in there. What? Apparently this tree this log doesn't want to stay there. There. Um, yeah, so there's another property you can buy, and uh, it has a bunch of trees on it, and I was really, really, like, running out of wood, and so I had to, I had to keep loading up wood from that other property and bringing it back, and it was, it was terrible. <laughs> I'll try not to make that mistake this time. That's why I'm being, like, so, uh, like, careful with the wood this time. Whoops, lost one. Shit. Come on, unload. Use a parking brake. Wait, just park it against the tree. All right. So look at us. We're getting this done. Easy mode. Ugh, get on there. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a whole lot of sense to try to carry more than that or not because it's just just everything falls out it's a pain all right what do we got now all right we're getting there 40 it's not bad don't fall out just stay Actually, let's go over here. I 
it doesn't matter like where you park this thing, it just rolls all the time. It's kind of a pain. Stay right there. Let's do this one too, why not? Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Load them up. Rinse and repeat. That's all we can do until it's built. Yeah, I, I don't even think... <clears throat> I don't know if you can even make maple syrup right away after you get it built. I forget. Like I said, it's been so long. Um, I kind of forget what the process is here, so. I know it definitely takes some time to get it all, to get it all set up. Um, and then actually making the maple syrup is actually pretty time consuming too. You gotta let, do a lot of rushing around and, yeah, it's a, it's a whole process. Just get on there. Stack you there? Is that gonna work? Mm, probably not. There we go. Yeah, this totally reminds me of the the wood cutting um, job in my summer car. You gotta load up the tractor and you know, bring it to that guy. Can you go there? Oh, that's a bad idea. Sure, that looks fine. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, so the headlights work now. I guess they fixed that. I, I didn't know that the, the patch actually fixed that problem. It looks like it's fine now. Okay, careful, careful. Easy. Nice. All right, how many is that? Oh man, we're almost there. Sweet. All right, I think there's one more thing I want to do before I call it today. Whoops. Turning off the truck was not one of them. Um, I think we should go to the car meet. Uh, and start the friendship on those with those guys um, because I'm gonna need it. So let's do that real quick. If I can do it without dying because I can't see the stupid road. <laughs> All right, this is great. We're getting stuff done. Awesome. Let's got the sugar shack built on day two. these guys actually start showing up out here. Apparently it's not yet. Crap. Hmm. Well, that stinks. Now what do I do?
Is there a... I thought there was a... Oh, is this the poutine place? Yeah, it is. They're probably closed now, aren't they? You can, like, deliver pizzas for these guys, too. Yeah. When they open. Yeah, they close a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, you're tired. I get it. Everybody's tired, bud. There they are. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. I always thought it sucked that you can't uh, you can't race the truck against these guys. I have this old car in my garage. I don't know what seems like a lot more. Cool, I'll take it. Yeah, I can't race right now. All right. So I think this is. Um, if I remember correctly, I think the car that you get is just like this, like an old Civic. Is that an EK or I, I don't know my Civics very well. But. Yeah, I love that the Pontiac Sunfire. Yeah, it's the biz right there. Okay, there we go. We've talked. We've talked to them. All right, let's hope we can get home now. Dying of thirst or starvation here. Well, I didn't lose anything on the back of that. I saw, thought I saw something fly up out of the truck. I think it's fine. Okay. This is actually going to be cutting it pretty close here. This is what I talked about, not playing. The hard mode. <laughs> oh god, don't wreck, don't wreck. Okay, this is gonna be cutting it real close. Oh god, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh crap. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, there's my house. Slow down. Stop. Turn. Okay, shut it up. Jump out. Ooh, crap. Oh. Okay, I still gotta sleep. Um, let's turn off the lights. Close it up. I'm not even going to close the door. Just get to bed. Oh. See there? Almost died the second day. <laughs> Death is really not that big of a deal in this game. It just it slows you down big time and really like screws up your schedule. But, um, yeah, all in all, I think that was a pretty successful first day. We, um... We got this thing uh, sort of put back together so we can drive it now. Um, driving it is terrible. It's absolutely awful. But that's okay. That's part of the fun of a project car, right? I think that's uh, the fun of it is taking some piece of crap that sucks and getting it back on the road and, you know, going for sketchy test drives and stuff. That's what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today on this Christmas Eve. I hope that everybody is having a magical holiday season, um, celebrating whatever holidays you celebrate, and getting together with family and enjoying their company, and eating way too much, and just celebrating. Um, so I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas tomorrow, and happy holidays to everyone. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.